All right, there is the machine. Canyon Endurace getting ready for the Kraken. Crazy gravel adventure into West Virginia. I've got all the gear, got my tire plugs, my mint goo, all kinds of good stuff. Um, and of course, official drink of West Virginia adventure. So it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be my race the sun uh replacement dirty cans edition so i'm gonna get out there and ride from sunrise to probably sunset it's gonna be a pretty big challenge so we'll see if i can get the whole thing done the route i have mapped out is 207 miles 23,000 feet of climbing and it's gonna get ugly <laughs> and fun i think it'll be really cool a lot of places i haven't seen out there Okay, Kanza, do it yourself. Time to race the sun. I got my crazy uh, route lined up, getting ready to go here. Deep into West Virginia. I'm gonna race until it's dark. I've got a light just in case it's, you know, all hell breaks loose, but um, this is my ode to Kanza. I figure that, uh, you know, worst case scenario, I explore some really awesome mountain terrain and go and see some uh, new climbs. So that's kind of the mission. Do a little time check here. There we go, Garmin's turning on. And got my Strava live beacon going on and we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna be planning on being self-sufficient. Uh, the route just goes into some really remote areas with no cell phone reception and um, once I'm in West Virginia, I'm on my own. The plan is to be able to do this thing um, self-sufficient, so that. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. Oh boy, Dirty Kanza, here we go. Go!
It's recording now. <laughs> All right, roll it. Run it. Okay, 10 miles in, 190 to go. Holy crap. As after I enter the mountains, there'll be no reception for a long, long time. And hopefully nothing goes wrong. A lot could. tight from the cold but it's gonna be for the better because I won't have to burn through so much fluids um, now entering the big mountains Yow! so stoked I'm about two and a half hours in so far I've climbed 3,500 vertical feet and now I head into the Allegheny Highlands pretty sick this is just a crazy ride Reminds me of some of the stages you see in the Tour de France from like 1930. Just absolutely nuts. The next passes are all dirt. I'm done taking this road to the very end. Stars light the path if you want to be. two hours and 50 minutes in the spectators are going wild over there what's up guys I haven't seen any cars in like a half an hour and this is the paved section so I'll climb up here and just before Monterey hit my first optional peak bag doing pretty good here ahead of pace and 48 miles in close to 3,500 feet of climbing and yeah, just digging it, man. It's just awesome out here. Yes, Shenandoah Mountain up there. Yes, flowers galore. Just beautiful turn. to McDowell, Allegheny Highlands here. This area between here and Warm Springs and Monterey is known as Little Switzerland. Uh, a lot of sheep grazing and sort of bald ridge lines, awesome roads. So stoked to check this out. First time up to Sounding Knob. Yo! Small victories. Oh man, this route's awesome. 
heading up to Sounding Knob. Never been up here before. And it's out there, bro. Gorgeous out here. See that? Oh, man. Definitely not bad. Really cool little notch I'm going through here in the rocks. Not paying attention to how long the ride is, just kind of enjoying the beautiful scenery and getting a day on the bike. Yarr! <laughs> This climb up sounding knob is no joke. 13, 15% grades, loose gravel. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> okay, this sub peak might not be worth a squeeze. It's really rough, but I'm already there, so. May as well see what's up here. The air's getting a little thinner up here. 4,300 feet in climbing. Peak bag number one. So this route has some optional side peaks to the sites of old fire towers where they used to look for uh, fire developing, um, kind of like these ranger stations. So this is one of three, four, five fire tower locations that make up the bonuses. Um, this one, hard to say if it's worth a 10 minute bonus. Each one I've assigned kind of like a bonus on how difficult it is. So if someone else does this route, <laughs> they can, they can uh, subtract it from their time and get kind of like a you know, A time, B time. I'm gonna drop off this rock, get the next one. That sounding knob behind me, and you can see just a hint of Monterey down there below. Wild out here. Thought the climbing was over. Holy cow. <laughs> this uh, wildlife management area has sounding knob, and then, this uh, other peak or sub peak, freaking beautiful, man. That's all Bluegrass Valley, Monterey down below. Moss City over here. Cool reddish road here. Oh, that's actually cool. Oh yeah, time for the PBJ and the Mountain Dew. I'm still in Virginia, but approaching West Virginia official adventure drink. Um, total of sent 2,100 meters, so. Old town. In and out. <laughs> Very quick. A little brief glimpse of civilization and I'm back out in the mountains in about 10 seconds. Cool. 70 miles, five hours in, and boatload of climbing. Looking at a lot of dirt roads and total ascent is looking like almost 10,000 feet. So, doing good.
on the top of the world. <laughs> Bear Mountain. Total flashback to Trans Alp climbing up into the thin air and uh, into the boreal forest. Absolutely gorgeous up here. 4,400 and you say 4452. Wow! Yeah! Okay, it tops right there. So here's my second optional peak, but I'm running behind my average speed. I pretty much have to stay on 14 and a half miles an hour to race the sun to make it back home. So I gotta somehow pick up the pace. Don't know how I'm gonna do that. Hoping for good road conditions on old Parkersburg Pike. Once I drop off of this, I'll be on an abandoned toll road, which is like amazing. They just built next to it and used to connect Virginia and West Virginia trading hubs. Yo! <laughs> yes! on top of Bear Mountain. This is grass and bald. Reminds you of how you climb up through the forest and trans out and pop out on these just gorgeous uh, above tree line spots. Bike packing pack for drying your shoes out from a street crossing. This way to a nice road descent. <laughs> Mm. Dang, bunch of flats. So sometimes it happens, but the ride was incredible. I got to see like five mountaintops I've never seen before. Just banner day, blue skies, rode like 11 hours, felt great. Um, so, you know, there's some positive takes from it. And at least I was bold enough to try the Kraken. All right, so the Kraken won the first round. The cool thing is, several days later, I went back out into West Virginia, rode the last 70 miles of this beast, and it was incredible. Absolutely wild. These are some of the rocks of the pass called Pike Gap, which makes up the very last section of the route, and it goes through a crazy red pine forest. I mean, I'm talking just like, I don't know. It looks like something in Alaska or, um, I don't know, somewhere not here. Um, beautiful flowers everywhere, cliff ferns. I mean, it was totally awesome. I can't even put it to words. This route, this really should be a three-day bikepacking route. As you can see, uh, very steep climbs that patches into the backside of the Alpine Loop Grand Fondo and really just makes its way into Virginia in style. Um, I'd say about 50% really tough dirt roads. The Grail is the choice for this route, and uh, glad I went out and did it. I mean, you live and you learn. You can't always nail it the first time. It's important to understand that uh, goals like this aren't always time-based. Sometimes you just got to go out and see this stuff. And I think that's the real moral of this was, yeah, I did want to try to see if I, it was possible. And now I do know it is possible, sunrise to sunset, but you would have to have your shit dialed. Definitely did not have my shit together. I uh, could have used a spare tire, more tire plugs, some CO2s, and maybe a sat phone. Live and learn. Nice way to wrap it up. 3,200 meters. I think it's a little 11,000 feet of climbing. All right. Well, that's it for the Kraken. Super awesome. Thanks for the ass kicking. But I'll be back. Definitely, definitely well, coming back. Thanks a lot for joining along, guys. 
and make sure to subscribe to Jeremiah Bishop's Wheelhouse for more adventure content and fun stories.